In this video, we are going to solve some questions on binary operations involving modulo arithmetic. We have two questions in this video. Let's solve the first question. The operation star is defined by x star y equals x plus y plus x square in arithmetic modulo 6. Find a i 2 star 3, 3 star 2, 3 star into bracket 2 star 4, and 3 star 2 in a bracket star 4. B. Is the operation commutative or end associative? Is the operation commutative or end associative? Now let's solve this question together. So in solving binary operations involving modulo arithmetic, we are going to solve this like the way we solve the normal binary operations. However, at the end, we are going to convert our result to the given modulo. At the end, we are going to convert our result to the given modulo. Here we are working with modulo 6. So at the end, we are going to convert our answer to modulo 6. So from the question, the binary operation given is x star y or better still x operation y equals x plus y plus x square so e let's solve i we are going to use this binary operation to find i i i i i i and then i v so we have two star three for i so our x is going to be two and then we have y to be three so we are going to substitute 2 and then 3 in place of x and y. So x is 2, so we have 2 plus y is 3 plus x squared, so 2 squared. 2 plus 3 is 5, 2 squared is 4, and then 5 plus 4 is 9. Now converting this result to modulo 6, because 9 is greater than 6, we are going to divide 9 by 6 which is 1, remainder 3. So since we are interested in the remainder, our answer is going to be 3 mode 6. This is going to be our answer for 2 star 3. Let's solve ii. So for ii, we are going to solve 3 star 2. Using this same binary operation, our 3 is x and then 2 is y. So we have 3 plus 2 plus 3 square 3 plus 2 is still 5 3 square is 9 so 5 plus 9 is 14 14 is greater than 6 so we divide 14 by 6 6 times 2 is 12 so 14 divided by 6 is 2 remainder 2 so we have the answer to be 2 mode 6. Now let's solve for iii. iii is um, 3 star 3 star into bracket 2 star 4. So this is going to be 3 star. We are going to solve bracket first. So we have x to be 2 and then y to be 4. So that's going to be 2 plus 4 plus 2 square. 2 plus 4 is 6 plus 2 square. 2 square is 4. So 6 plus 4 is 10. So this is going to be 3 star 10. So this time x is 3 and then y is 10. So that's going to be 3 plus 10 plus 3 square. So that's going to be 13 plus 9. 13 plus 9 is 22. Since 22 is greater than 6, we divide 22 by 6. 6 times 3 is 18. So 22 divided by 6 gives 3 remainder 4. Therefore, 3 star into bracket 2 star 4 is equal to 4 mode 6. 
Now to the last one, Ivan. We are going to solve for 3 star 2 in a bracket star 4. Let's solve bracket first. 3 star 2 is going to be 3 plus 2 plus 3 square and then all star 4. 3 plus 2 is 5 plus 9. That's 14. So that's going to be 14 star 4. 14 star 4 is 14 plus 4 plus 14 square. 14 plus 4 is 18. 14 square is 196. So 196. 18 plus 196 is 214. 214 divided by 6 gives 35 remainder 4. 35 times 6 is 210, so remainder 4. Therefore, we have our answer to be 4 mode 6. So that is for 3 star 2 into bracket star 4. Is the operation commutative or and associative? So from i and then i i, 2 star 3 is equal to 3 modulo 6 and then 3 star 2 is equal to 2 modulo 6. Now since 2 star 3 is not equal to 3 star 2, then we say that the operation is not commutative. So from i and i i, since 2 star 3 is not equal to 3 star 2 the operation is not commutative also from i i i and then iving since 3 star into bracket 2 star 4 is the same as 3 star 2 in a bracket star 4 it means that the operation is associative because for both of them you had 4 mode 6 and then 4 mode 6. Therefore, from I, I, I and I think since 3 star into bracket 2 star 4 is equal to 3 star 2 in a bracket star 4 the operation is associative so from i and i i the operation is not commutative and then from i i i and i vein the operation is associative now let's move on to the second question so for question 2 an operation star is defined on the set X consisting of elements 1, 3, 5, and then 6 by M star N equals M plus N plus 2 mod 7, where M and N are all members of X. I draw a table for the operation. I, I using the table, find the truth set of alpha 3 star N equals 3, beta N star N equals 3. 3. We are going to solve this problem together. So we are giving the binary operation m star n equals m plus n plus 2 modulo 7. So we are going to use this binary operation to draw the table from the set x. So let's write the members of set X. So set X consists of members 1, 3, 5, and then 6. So let's draw the table. Now using the binary operation, let's fill out the table. 
So we are going to consider these to be the M values and then these to be the N values. So from this binary operation, 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 plus 2 is 4, 4 in mode 7 is still 4. So we are going to have 4 here. 1 plus 3 is 4, 4 plus 2 is 6, 6 in mode 7 is still 6. 1 plus 5 is 6, 6 plus 2 is 8. Now since 8 is greater than 7, we are going to divide 8 by 7 and then we have 1 remainder 1. So this is 1. 1 plus 6 is 7, plus 2 is 9. 9 divided by 7 is 1 remainder 2. Now to 3. 3 plus 1 is the same as 1 plus 3. So we have 6 here. 3 plus 3 is 6, plus 2 is 8, 8 divided by 7 is 1 remainder 1. So since we are interested in the remainder, we are going to write 1. 3 plus 5 is 8, plus 2 is 10, divided by 7 is 1 remainder 3. 3 plus 6 is 9, plus 2 is 11, divided by 7 is 1 remainder 4. Now to 5. 5 star 1 is the same as 1 star 5, so we have the answer to be 1. 3 star 5 is the same as 5 star 3, so that's 3. 5 star 5 is 5 plus 5 is 10, plus 2 is 12, 12 divided by 7 is 1, remainder 5. 5 star 6, so 5 plus 6 is 11, plus 2 is 13, 13 divided by 7 is 1 remainder 6. Now to 6. 6 star 1 is the same as 1 star 6, so we have 2. 6 star 3 is the same as 3 star 6, so that's 4. 5 star 6 is the same as 6 star 5, so we have 6. Now 6 star 6 means that we have 6 plus 6, which is 12, plus 2 is 14. 14 divided by 7 is 2 remainder 0. So we are going to place 0 here. So this is the complete table for the operation. So this is i. So for ii, we have alpha. We are going to find the truth set of 3 star n equals 3. So from the set x, we have element 1, 3, 5, and then 6. So we are going to determine the value of n from set x that will satisfy this equation. So for n equals 1, 3 star 1 gives 6, which does not satisfy the equation because we don't have 3. Then we move on to when n equals 3. So 3 star 3 is 1, which does not still satisfy this equation. We move on to 3 star 5. Now 3 star 5 is 3. This satisfies the equation. So n is equal to 5. Let's keep that in mind. And then 3 star 6 gives us 4, which does not satisfy the equation. So the only value of n that satisfies the equation is when n equals 5. So the truth set for this equation is n is such that n is equal to 5. Now for beta, we are going to find the value of n such that n star n is equal to 3. So let's start from 1. 1 star 1 is 4. It does not satisfy this equation. 3 star 3 is 1. Also does not satisfy this equation. 5 star 5 is 5. Does not satisfy this equation. And then 6 star 6 is 0. Which also does not satisfy this equation. So from the table, we conclude that the true set for this equation is n is such that n is equal to an empty set. No value of n satisfy the equation. So that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video. Bye-bye.